Hello, everyone. My name is Dustin Yoder. I'm the CEO and founder of Surify, based in the San Francisco Bay Area. And this is Mike Reeves, VP of Partnership Solutions from Hanover Re. We are here today because we've actually been traveling a lot and working together because life insurance has some major issues. The consumer around the world is changing and we have visited, I have so far visited over 100 insurance companies and find that around the globe, they're facing the same challenges with the consumer changing and the existing channels and mechanisms to communicate and buy. And we're gonna show you today how a partnership between a global reinsurer and an insure tech company can help meet the demands of today's changing consumers to help them understand and underwrite in real time and engage in a customer when and how they want to be engaged and deliver to them a beautiful customer experience. Yeah, so more in the introduction we talked about IoT, but so much more than that is encompassed in the Surefy platform. So let's switch over and spend time today taking you through the journey of not only what a consumer would experience, also the back-end underwriting, and then lastly, where the insurer collects that data and chooses to engage. So what, let me acclimate you first to what you're gonna see. Number one, on the left-hand side, I just have my, my uh, cell phone projected so we can see a real-time situation. I've cleaned up the, uh, the dashboard to make it easy. Um, and that is the consumer side. Secondly, you have on this screen is the carrier dashboard. So this is where an insurance company will see all the data streaming in and choose how they want to engage with their customer. Now, what we're gonna do is to start things off actually is go through an idea and an example of what a life insurer can do. So keep in mind, this is all white labeled and we, give, we basically enable with our technologies new, um, new ways to acquire, engage, and then cross sell customers. So let me start off with a quote. I am, during today's presentation, due to time, I will be jumping around, number one, and number two is we can't go in depth on each one. So do bear in mind that I'm going to show you high level on a lot of things. So let's get a quote first. This is an example of a personalized premium. Um, there's a lot of rewards and different things taking place right now, but we think the future is changing products as well. Um, I'm gonna call this the DI Day demo. So, why I'm doing this is so you can see it in the back end. Um, so no, I'm not gonna make you watch me fill out forms today. Um, well, I guess I am. Um, so what it is is insurers right now are, are looking to take those first steps. So this is a basic one. Getting a quote is actually maybe one of the easiest things to do. Through Surefy offers Android, iOS, and web on the front end, and then makes it seamless for the insurer to connect the system. Now, instead of going through an application and show you what someone would do, we're actually gonna switch over now and share a little bit about the two-way interaction that happens between an application on web and mobile and then what's happening on the back end with Reflex. So Mike, why don't you start us off? Sure, in a nutshell, what Reflex is, is an underwriting engine that delivers decades of Hanover Re's mortality and underwriting expertise. Uh, to the Surefy, embedded in the Surefy platform to be able to assess risk in real time. So it has thousands and thousands of medical conditions in, in the system. And why don't you go ahead, Justin, and just put in something simple and we'll say uh, headache or migraine headache. Right. So before I do that, I did want to identify here that what's happening, if I could put in 200,000, right, it would be an automated system. But if I put in 2 million, for example, on the right-hand side, you're actually seeing the result in, in the back end on how it would accelerate. And you would see here that would push to the underwriting system. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna for, for ease of use, we're gonna pretend like it's 200,000. As it processes, okay, let's go down, as you said, Mike, I'm gonna take us down to the, um, the medical condition. So I'm gonna say yes, I've had a medical condition. So let's put in headache, for example. Okay, so I have a minor headache, I'm being very honest with my insurance company, as we all would be. So, so what we have then is, is follow up reflexive questions based upon that medical condition. And perhaps for this audience, we may change the question to, do you have daily headaches caused by an investor or caused by an insurance company? At which case it may not be rated because that's probably normal. And, it, and mine has been worse the last six months. So <laughs> I, would, I would agree with that. So I, it has been worse the last six months. So now all of a sudden, the system's recognizing that if I'm being really honest, then I'm gonna get a decline. But um, I'll go down here and say I am having, but, but 
yet they're irregular, right? Because sometimes I'm working uh, with investors and sometimes I'm working with insurers. Um, have you been to the hospital? No and no. So, so we're working to provide these medical decisions at the point of sale or underwriting decisions at the point of sale embedded into the Surify platform. However, there is a lot more to the Surify platform than just the, the reflex underwriting engine, and we'll take a look at that now. Right. To move on, I'm going to pretend I, I've realized now while I'm on stage that I don't want to say I've had headaches within the last six months, so I'm approved. So let's pretend I purchase, okay? So I'm not going to take you through the whole purchase because you get the drill. Um, what I'm going to do now is come over here and talk about when that person does purchase, okay? So two things have happened. Obviously, that person, if they did it, digitally or with an agent right there, uh, which are both possible with our system, they would be in the system like the sale. So you can see here when I got the quote right, we, we build a full stack system to enable a, a quick access for that insurer. Um, so, but I'm gonna focus more on, on what the consumer gets as well as how the insurer engages. So what you see here on the left hand side is a basic dashboard. Right now, points and rewards are something insurers wanna look at. Um, they're looking at financial and health challenges that they want to enable their customers to partake in. They want to look at what is incentivizing customers, okay? So that could be gift cards, and where we see things going right now is actually the ability to, like, let's say, reduce premium, something to that effect. So lots of different ideas on how to engage, and in each market they're testing. Um, Secondly, to be able to give certain products to different customers is big experience or is a very, you can cater the experience to that end customer. And so there's a big opportunity to be able to giving certain demographics, certain products. Now, you also, we found, we thought we were going to create some, you know, really flashy things. And what we found out is most life insurers don't even have the ability to have web or mobile access to even start a lot of these more innovative approaches. So even something as the connecting the policy or allowing someone to change their information was not possible in many cases. You can do something like paint, you can allow payments or not allow payments. These maybe will, these could create situations where you could quickly um, sell products just in time and a wider way of other features. Now, I'm just giving you an overview today. We can talk more in depth, but let's jump over here to the insurer view because there's two sides of this equation. It's not about giving your consumer an app or whatever. We want to know what's going on. And so here I'm jumping into what we call our, this is our policyholder section, and it almost resembles um, a policy admin system, although Surefy wants nothing to do with policy admin systems. That's your guys' favorite thing, I know, in the audience. And so, no problems there. So we want to take that information, we can collect stuff that would be, say, let's say, in the policy admin section, but then we're driving deeper to create new big data solutions for the customer. Like here you can see all my devices streaming in, my, my body weight here, which has improved, which has increased dramatically over the last three months uh, due to some travel. Um, rewards, pr the products that a customer is saying they want or don't want. Um, as well as we integrate socially and we track all engagement that's happening with that customer. Now, I know you're wondering, well, how do you engage? When would you do this? Why would a customer want to engage with a life insurer? And there's a wide array of reasons, whether that's a triggered event, whether the insurer wants to just communicate with them um, randomly, and this could be manual or triggered. So right here I'm showing you, this is like a, a wide set of triggered engagement, whether that's hundreds of thousands that the insurer wants to trigger and communicate, or what, what I'm gonna leave you with is the ability for the insurer just to choose anybody to engage with. So I'm gonna call this the DIA Engage. And I'm gonna do it manually because that's gonna be better for the story today. I'm choosing actually to send a push notification. Uh, let's, okay. And I'm actually selecting the demographic that I wanna push. Now I'm gonna push an in-app product, um, which is, I'm gonna call it the Hanover Life product. I'm gonna do it immediately, and this could be done by the marketing team, uh, the insights team, underwriting can do, there's a wide range, it could be to stop smoking, et cetera. And it's really because the reason why we have to look at how to engage and use the mechanisms today is because the consumer doesn't dream about insurance applications. So we have to bring them back. So I'm gonna press finish and just show a quick example of how easy it is to bring them right in. So here, I've just said, hey, let's sell more life insurance. Hit that, and boom. The product can be presented right there. Now, around the globe, people are interested to sell both to agents or allow agents to sell and enable this way and the customer. So I leave you with this. This 
product goes right to the, um, right to the agent, whereas you could sell direct. I think our time is about up. So we believe both at Surify and Hanover Re that the next generation of 100-year-old insurance companies must be digitally enabled, must allow the consumer to buy the way they want, but we also must learn how to engage with them digitally in ways that we have not done over the last 200 years. Do you have any last thoughts, Mike? Yeah, and at Hanover Re, we're working with Surify to support the next generation of products underwritten with the next generation of data to offer more products to more people with less invasive uh, processes. Thank you for your time. <laughs>